Hello, I'm Vicky and I'm here at the head office of one of the UK's largest providers of ICT equipment to the educational market. I'll be meeting John Sutton, who is going to be showing us some of the wide range of products and telling us about the huge benefits they can bring to your learning environment. I'm here with John Sutton and John's going to tell us all about Classcom. Now, what does that incorporate? Classcom involves using handsets, a receiver, a teacher handset and software. OK, so I presume that each pupil in the class is given one of these handsets. Can I have a hold? Yes, yeah, certainly. Have one here, if you hold that one. And you can see on the handset here that uh, there's various ways in which I can ask my class to interact with the questions that I'm putting up on the screen in front of me. So you can see I've got a green and a red button which I can answer true or false or yes or no. I've got a multiple choice, 1 to 6 or A to F. I've got, uh, that could also be multi-mark if there's more than one right answer. And I've also got a full numeric keypad, so I can do decimals, I can do fractions, and I can do negative numbers as well. It's great because actually it, it looks really a, a bit like a mobile phone, and actually the layout's quite it like is a, very a mobile similar. phone. Yeah. Uh, and I suppose for students in the, in the era of sort of texting, yeah. it's something they're quite comfortable with. Definitely, yes. You can see it's got texting options on there as well, so we can actually text an answers in and they can probably do it without looking at it, whereas you or I might have to look at it a bit more carefully, a but more uh, carefully. it's exactly the same layout as a mobile phone, yes. And it, it feels very solid. Yes, it has uh, rechargeable batteries in it, and you could also put a SIM card in it as well with the, all the students' details, so all the students' details just go straight into the handset, and then that identifies who that person is who's using that handset. And with rechargeable batteries, again, not only good for the environment, but also financially exactly. a good idea. Yeah, comes with a charging unit, so you can charge eight of them up at, at one time. And as you say, it's got the true, false, yes, no. Yeah. I presume that only students can talk to you. There is no possibility of students starting to interact. No. Uh, the texting option is only for the student to interact with the screen that they can see at the front. There's no way that students can actually interact with each other with this. Although the teacher can send a message out uh, to all the students which would appear on the handset. That is possible. Or can send a message to one individual student if they wish to. And as we said, it's, it, they're quite sturdy, they're quite sort of chunky. Yeah. Um, every child will get one, every student. Yes. How do you know who's sending you what? Right, well, each one is identified, it has a number on the back, and so when I set the, the students up in my database, then I can identify them by the number and allocate them a handset. That's one way I can do it. Or when I set the system up, I can give each student an individual ID number, which is like a PIN number. And so when we log in, they use that PIN number, and then again, that identifies who they are on the system. So there's two ways that you can manage the handsets. And if they're interacting, is there a way that y they would what they are, are texting or sending you would appear instantly up on the on the board? Uh, you'll see it on the actual screen here, on right. the pad first, and then you press send to send that information onto the screen. And then that information comes to both the lecturer or the teacher's handset and also onto the system? Well, the teacher can display that, yes, if they wish to. It's up to the teacher whether or not they want to be able to see that kind of information. So you basically, you do have a way of monitoring it, yes. just in case you have oh, anybody yes. sneaky who wants to send something that maybe they shouldn't. Yes. Um, you actually are the gateway and you oh, can yes. stop. Yes, we can monitor that so nothing like that would ever get through. Yes, and, yes. and, and make sure that everything that goes on yeah. there is what yeah. you want exactly, the class yes. Yes. to see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's fantastic. What the, Different colours, any reason for that? Yes, on, on, one, on one of our products, the genie wall then we use the yellow buttons here to actually move things around on the screen so it's truly interactive oh, wow. the students would have their own uh, tile that they can see and they use the yellow to go up down left or right and navigate themselves around on the screen to either fix themselves on an object or make a choice of what they can see on the screen so that's what those yellow buttons would be used for with that particular product genie wall and again for children and students of all ages yes indeed again right down to uh, uh, key stage one, six and seven year olds could use this on a very simple level right up to university level where we're asking quite complex questions and then we're asking for a response from the handsets or even if I'm doing um, a survey at the end of a conference um, where I want to gauge opinion of the delegates who've attended I can put some questions up and then collect the data from here as well. Um, we were talking about this as well and sort of saying that you know, it can go to children of, of all ages. Mm -hmm. What's, I mean you've, you were a teacher for 20 years. Yeah. 
Um, what kind of subjects would you say will really lend themselves to something like this? Um, again, any subject really that you, you know that you, you chose to use it with. It's very flexible. You're portable. You can take it around with you wherever you are. Um, you you decide on the content. It's up to the teacher to create the content. Although we do provide you with content as well, the teacher can make their own if they wish to. So it's up to you to create the content to the level that you're teaching at. Because it, it comes in via the system, but it, what does it interact with on the, the laptop? It interacts with a piece of software which we can see here called Classcom and you can see the, the interface is open here so on the left hand side we've got two tabs, one that says resources where if I open this folder up here you can see all the resources that I've currently got on the system inside folders and then the other tab says student and that's where all my student data is sitting so that's where I can see all the students currently in my class and if I've done any activities all their marks have been recorded in this column here as you can see. So if I go back over to the resources tab, I can open up any of these folders here and then these are all activities. So if I click on an activity, you'll now see a set of slides appears on the right hand side. And those are the slides with the questions that I've prepared that I'm now going to present to the class. Do you find that, that students really get quite excited about using this? Because it is actually, it is very oh, interactive and quite definitely. good fun. Yeah, definitely. They get very excited. I might use it, for instance, to start a lesson off to get children engaged and interested in what I'm going to teach about during that lesson. Or for me to gain some formative assessment, that means I'm going to put some questions in front of them, see what sort of answers they give me back, and then that's going to give me a guide as a teacher as to where I need to focus on in that lesson. Or similarly, at the end of a lesson, I'm going to use it as part of my plenary or summary activity, where I'm going to test out how well I've achieved the objective of that lesson and where perhaps I need to focus for my next lesson, um, judging on the responses that I've been given back. And using something like this, I presume, you know, we're talking a, sort of a, an average, if there's such a thing, sort of classroom size, the radius of, of, of how far that you can interact using mm. this, the transmission. Yeah, it'll go up to 100 metres or more with, with the receiver that we've got here. It's all radio based, so it doesn't matter where that receiver sits in the classroom. It's going to pick it up so from you anywhere. Could, you could actually take the, I mean, I suppose if you went out on a field trip, something like that, and if you have the kit with you and it is portable. Yeah. You yeah. could use it anywhere, really. You could use it anywhere, yes. It, 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 it's completely portable, so as long as you've got your laptop or your PC with you to run the software, you can run it anywhere at all.